Well, a heated debate tonight between the four major candidates vying for the Senate seat that belonged to the late Dianne Feinstein. Yeah, the three Democratic candidates took aim at the one Republican on stage. Now, the debate featured in alphabetical order former L.A. Dodger Steve Garvey, who's running as a Republican, plus Democratic members of Congress Barbara Lee, who represents the Bay Area, Katie Porter, who reps Orange County, and Adam Schiff, representing Burbank. The top two vote getters uh, in the March, two vote getters there in the March primary, will now have to face off next November. Laurie Perez, you watched that debate. Anyone break out of the pack tonight? Uh, well, not clearly, no, though that was likely the goal of these candidates. Tonight was a very big night, the first of at least two debates in the race to succeed the late Senator Dianne Feinstein. The, the focus was not so much on who came out on top. Adam Schiff is the front runner in the polls. Instead, tonight was about who would secure number two in the March primary and stick around for the election in the fall. Mr. Garvey. The four leading candidates for California's coveted U.S. Senate seat took the stage at USC, though at times it seemed like three against one. Twelve-term Congressman Adam Schiff, U.S. Representative Katie Porter, and Congresswoman Barbara Lee grilled former Dodger, Republican Steve Garvey, on whether he'll support Donald Trump again. Republican opponent here on this stage uh, has voted for Donald Trump twice. This is not the minor leagues. Who will you vote for? What more do you need to see of what he's done to be able to say that you will not support him? At the end of the day, it's all a personal choice. Schiff holds a lead in the polls. Some polling has Garvey tied with Porter for second. The pressure to emerge, particularly for Lee and Porter, is clear, as only the top two vote-getters in the March 5th primary will advance to the November general election. Zev Yaroslavsky is a former L.A. County supervisor. What Garvey uh, showed tonight is that he's, he's not seasoned. Some sparks flew, uh, some differences emerged, uh, but as far as the Democratic, uh, the two principal Democratic candidates, Schiff and Porter, uh, not, not so much difference in terms of policy, uh, a lot of differences in personality. Past a battle to knock Garvey out, the Democrats have to face each other. They do have nuanced differences, the most vigorous exchange over whether to call for a ceasefire in Israel's war with Gaza. Ceasefire is not a magic word. You can't say it and make it so. But we have to push as the United States, as a world leader, for us to get to a ceasefire and to avoid another forever war. Alex, Mr. Yeah. if you don't have a permanent ceasefire now, more people are going to get killed. Uh, I support a two-state solution. We have to get back to a road to a two-state solution. But Israel has to defend itself. We can't leave Hamas governing Gaza. Yaroslavsky thinks this race is still wide open, making this, these debates all the more important. He sees them as job interviews, and voters are doing the hiring. Chauncey, back to you. Laurie, thank